I'm Big Lou, and this is Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I've got going on for you, or maybe it won't be for you, because a lot of people don't like what I'm about to do. Because what I'm about to do is use cheese that's blue. Yeah, I'm going to make blue cheese burgers. Uh-huh. I like blue cheese, and my wife does too. One of the things we have in common. Now, my kids don't like blue cheese, so they're just going to have real, real round, plain-looking burgers on the grill. My wife and I, they're going to be oblong because we're going to put them in a loaf of French bread. All right. Uh, sesame seed top French bread right here. All right. Like that. Like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're going to cut it. That's going to be our burger buns with blue cheese in it. Yeah. Yeah. Blue cheese. You know, it's got mold inside there. Penicillin going inside it. Keep you from getting all kinds of illnesses and stuff. Uh-huh. I like it. Recipe comes from this book, Best Burgers. You know how, how I know that this book has the best burgers in it? It says so right there. In fact, this book even looks like a burger book. All right, guys, it's got 40 outstanding uh, burger recipes in it. I'm going to use one of them tonight. And actually, I'm using a sauce from another one, too, because we're going to make a yogurt cucumber sauce, which was actually designed for a Greek burger that had feta cheese in it. But I figured, hey, if it's good with feta cheese, it'll be even better with blue cheese. Uh -huh. I'm not going to dress the burger uh, like they do here. And I'm not going to show you how to mix the meat. I'm not going to show you the exact recipe either. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh cause, uh, look at that right there. Can you see that? The CEO says Lewis Weber, CEO. And it published in Illinois. Now, recently I was interviewed on Dead Broke Barbecue. Uh, fellow runs that channel. He's the one and only great ricer. And he interviews other YouTubers. And I was honored that he asked me. And he asked me what my goals are for my YouTube channel. I'm like, I don't really have any goals or objectives. I think the only goal I got is to not get sued. All right. I'm going to have to put my reading glasses on, but I'll read to you what this says right here on page one. You got to know this before I do the recipe. All right. It says copyright 2006. All right. That's 14 years ago. All right. And then it says by Lewis Weber, CEO. I ain't about to get sued by anybody but named Weber. I'm not even going to use a Weber grill. Mm-hmm. We use old smoky, that's right. Mm -hmm. And it says, permission is never granted for commercial purposes. I want to make money on this video, I'm not gonna lie. Hope you hopefully you watched the ad at the beginning of the video. Uh, but if you didn't, that's okay too. You know, that's okay. But I don't want to get sued. It says permission is never granted. So I can't share the whole recipe with you. All right. And then it says, all recipes and photographs that contain specific brand names are copyrighted by those companies and or associates unless otherwise specified. All photographs except those on yada 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 pages. All right, so if it's got a brand name, you know what the brand name is in this burger recipe? Kingsford. So I can't show the recipe exactly because it's copyrighted. By the way, we use Royal Oak too. Uh-huh, yeah, because I ain't getting sued. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll show you how to do the video, do, make the burgers. But the recipe's varied. I'm telling you, it's varied. <sighs> if you want to see the book, it's $6.95 on Amazon at the timing of this uh, video. Ain't that much. I'll have a link below. We'll tell you it's an affiliated link. If you uh, click it, uh, Big Lou gets a little small percent of that, and it doesn't cost you anything extra, but you don't have to buy it from me. If they got it at your local bookstore, pick it up. Or heck, you can just see my varied recipe, but my recipe won't be the best burger because it won't be exactly from here. It's just inspired from here. My recipe will be good, might even be better, but it won't be best. The recipe called for a specific amount of a certain colored onion, which is not this color. This is a yellow onion, and this is just one onion. It called for a certain amount of chopped onion, you know, in a measuring device. And it called for a certain amount of chopped cucumber. This is just half a cucumber but it's probably about that amount. It did call for this much mint though, okay? And it called for this much majorum, all right? So you can kind of guesstimate what that is. And then it called for, well, I don't know if I can say two cups of yogurt, but we're gonna call it a pint so I don't get sued. All right, majorum. By the way, this is plain yogurt, real man's yogurt. It's not any sissy vanilla yogurt or something with fruit on the bottom, uh-uh. This ain't no girly yogurt. This is plain yogurt, all right? Mint. Cucumber. A little bit more cucumber. 
Little bit more cucumber. Boom. Let's get the onion in there. Onion. A little bit more onion. And a little bit more onion. And you know what? I still got a little bit over here. So we're just gonna scrape it up. We're gonna get it all in there. Boom. Now. There's certain things down here, but I need reading glasses to know what they mean. So I'm just gonna start mashing all of them. So they work. You gotta, gotta shake it. Slow it down a bit. Yogurt sauce. All right, we'll put that in the fridge and let it cool off, and then we're gonna put that on our burgers. Okay, the recipe calls for a certain amount of walnuts toasted, okay? Uh, I'm not toasting them in the oven. I'm just dropping them in some olive oil. The olive oil's heating up, and I'm just gonna fry these, kind of saute these walnuts in this olive oil here until they turn a nice brown, and that's how I'm toasting them. All right, I've got eight oblong uh, burger patties there because we're going to make four of these stuffed ones and we're going to stuff it with that right there All right Get up there stay up there where you're supposed to be camera That's my toasted uh, walnuts and yeah, if you're gonna to toast something toast them they Dark brown, but they're not black yet. They might look black on camera, but they toasted and this is blue cheese You see that stuff in there? That's mold That's what it is mold uh-huh, penicillin type stuff. It's good for you, good for your digestive health. Tastes good too. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people hate it. We're gonna put the walnuts in here. All right, now that I got toasted walnuts in there, we're gonna just um, mix this all together. Just mix it like this, okay? All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this uh, walnut cheese mixture and I'm gonna just put it right here on the inside. Don't need a whole lot. Blue cheese is strong. So a little goes a long way, but I do like it. And once you get used to it, you start to like more of it, all right? I'm just gonna put it right there in the center. Now remember these patties are oblong so that you can, uh, we can put them on French bread. All right, and we're gonna put that other one. That didn't go as smoothly as I wanted to. That's why I'm gonna do the others off camera. I'm gonna put this one right on top like that. I'm gonna pat it down and make sure we seal the sides well and just really shape this uh, cheese stuffed burger. And if I got any that's leaking out the top, just put it right there and just really shape it. Make sure the sides are sealed well so it doesn't leak out as it melts. And that is my burger patty. I'm gonna do the others just the same way. Here's the patties shaped and molded, all four of them. Now I mixed the ground meat up. I did not follow the recipe. The recipe has certain seasonings and stuff in it in the book. Um, I use some of this Uncle Steve's shake thick meat because it's turned out to be a very good burger seasoning. And I used um, five cloves of garlic. That white that you see in there is chopped up garlic that I put into the mixture. It called for uh, some minced garlic, but I use more garlic than it asked for. All right. And um, I also have liquid smoke in the meat mixture. I've got some Heinz 57 in the meat mixture, and I've got some Worcestershire sauce in the meat mixture. So if you're wondering how to mix the meat, that's how I mix the meat, not the way they asked me to in the book, of course. All right. If you listen closely, you'll hear one of the greatest sounds on the face of the earth. And I'm not talking about my wife singing over there on the side yard, though that is one of the greatest sounds on the face of the earth. Maybe you can't hear that, but the sound of hot coals hitting the bottom of an old smoky grill. Woo! Love it.
As you can see, there's a reason the grill's got its name. Just flipping these, these are the four uh, blue cheese Juicy Lucy's or so to speak, the stuffed ones. And these are the regular burgers, all right? Cover it back up a little bit and let them finish off cooking. This is that sesame seed uh, French bread loaf. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut it um, and we're gonna use that for buns. Also got some onions I'm going to grill up, probably in the grill pan. All right, I got them all sliced and cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dribble, drizzle rather, not dribble, each half of olive oil. Just like that, and we're gonna toast it out on the grill. I decided to use Provence herbs, Herb du Provence. Now, the book doesn't say to do that. The book just says to use a common uh, yellow dairy product that's often served with bread. Can't tell you what that is. I don't wanna get sued or nothing. But anyway, um, I think it'll be good this way because I'm dressing it way different than the book told us to dress it. Well, right. night is setting in because I did a lot of yard work today before uh, grilling up dinner. But those onions are in a grill pan. They're gonna be delicious. They're getting soft. And this bread is getting done. Look at that. Time to pull this bread off of here. Okay, let's assemble this burger. I put that yogurt sauce into the uh, yogurt container and I'll put that right here on each side of this French bread that we toasted with the olive oil and the province herbs. And I'm just gonna smear it around on there, just like that. Now, I'm gonna grab some spinach. I'm gonna put a bed of fresh spinach down. Not lettuce, just spinach. Now that I've got a bed of fresh spinach on there, I'm gonna put the burger patty on just like that. And I'm gonna put on two slices of fresh tomato, all right? Now on that two slices, we're gonna sprinkle them with a little celery salt, because celery salt's good on tomatoes. All right, also not in that book recipe. All right. And then we're gonna add on some of these grilled onions that we did out there in that pan. Mm. Now, top it off like this. Blue cheese burger. Let's cut it. Top fell off, but look at that. Look at it, look at that. Oh, look at all that, look at all that in there. Mmm, this is gonna be good. Let's do a taste test. All right, let's get a big old bite with the blue cheese in it. It's gonna be a messy sandwich. Dripping down my hands, I'm not gonna eat it in one piece. Man, I love blue cheese. And the walnuts, I thought they were gonna be really, really off, not texture, but they're right, they fit right in there. The texture of the walnuts is perfect. Wow. That's just a little spinach in that yogurt sauce. This sandwich is good, y'all. This sandwich is good. Inspired by the one in the book, but it made it way different. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. I got a messy sandwich to eat.